Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting, bringing you my entire Nintendo t-shirt collection. There are so many t-shirts here. A lot of you have been requesting that I do this video to show my entire collection and to show kind of what I wear sometimes while I'm gaming or even as pajamas. They work really well as pajamas. And one day I assume I'll be a really cool parent walking around wearing some gaming related t-shirts. So I can tell you I have over 20 t-shirts, I have three pairs of pajamas, and I have a few belt buckles that I will go through, and let's get to it. But essentially, all of these t-shirts were either gifts, or I spent probably less than $20 on all of them, without going through all the specific prices, because it's been so long since I started getting them, and wearing them. But we'll start with The Legend of Zelda. This shirt is that iconic Link holding up a piece of the Triforce. This one looks pretty awesome, it's in black, and I wear this one still from time to time, it looks pretty amazing. This is just the Legend of Zelda symbol, the Triforce, as well as that bird in green. Green is my personal favorite color, so I really do enjoy wearing this one from time to time. Then I do have an Ocarina of Time 3D shirt with a cool symbol. I've actually never worn this one. It still has the official Nintendo licensed product seal on it. I'm not sure if I'll ever get around to wearing that one. I have so many to wear. One of my personal favorites is this shield, also from The Legend of Zelda. It looks absolutely fantastic. I wear this one quite often right now. It's one of my newer ones. And then I also have a Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time t-shirt. This one's probably based off the design that actually came in one of the guides. It was a poster. And there's Link and Sheik fighting all these enemies. It looks pretty chaotic and pretty ridiculous, but I absolutely love that t-shirt as well. Now moving on to the Pokemon series, this shirt features Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Pikachu, so pretty much all of the original starters, and it also says Pokemon on it. I really like that one as well. And then my favorite shirt probably in this entire collection, the Blastoise shirt. If you didn't know, Blastoise might be my favorite personal Pokemon. He looks really badass. I love this t-shirt. It's really cool to me. And then a Mario shirt. There was a lot of Obama shirts, actually, that featured kind of in this design that I'm sure were an homage to a different kind of design or that was done in the past or anything like that. But I've actually worn this shirt a lot, so it has some fading on it, but it's really cool. Nevertheless... And then a Mario shirt, this was actually for my stag and doe. My colors were green, my wife's were pink, so we actually had a friend kind of put on all these designs onto the shirt. So I got Mario on some green shirts, he got Peach on some pink shirts, and we had a stag and doe to help raise money for our honeymoon, which was pretty awesome. Then a Hollywood Squares kind of design with Mario, Luigi, Toad, Yoshi, Bowser, Wario, Bullet Bill, Goomba, and Shy Guy, looking pretty fantastic. And then the shirt that we started the video with, this has just basically features so many of the different characters from the Mario franchise. It's really awesome. I've worn this one a lot. A Get a Life Mushroom shirt, but this one actually is a little bit big on me, and frankly, the mushroom is just gigantic. But I did receive this one as a gift, so I do have it in my t-shirt collection, I guess. A simple Mario Power Up which looks pretty fantastic. He's holding a mushroom, and this one you do see quite often out and about in public. And then the last Mario shirt, this one says, Choose Wisely, and there's a few pipes that Mario needs to decide which one to go down. And actually, I wore this for my engagement shoot with my fiancé at the time. She wore a Jurassic Park shirt, I wore this one, because we thought the Choose Wisely was really fitting. Don't worry, we did wear nice clothes for our engagement shoot as well, but we decided to take some fun photos if we could, which is really awesome. Then a Let's Party Donkey Kong shirt. The only Donkey Kong shirt I have. It almost looks like he's headed off to a kegger and he's supplying the keg, which is pretty cool. My only Metroid shirt. And this Metroid shirt features Ridley. And there's a lot going on with this shirt. It's really cool. It's really hard to find, actually. But I really wish the colors popped a bit more on it because the design really is outstanding. Next up is an A to Z, almost like the alphabet of the entire gaming industry through history, which is really cool. And things like C for Contra, T for Tetris, D for Donkey Kong, even H for Halo are on this shirt. It looks pretty cool. I think this one came part as a, I think it came in a nerd block or something like that. And uh, my friend actually gave that to me, which was really cool. My only Sonic shirt, this one actually, when I bought it brand new, it did look a little faded. So it is faded, yes, but it does look really awesome. He's huge on that shirt, and he's right in your face as Sonic usually is. And then the last actual Nintendo design, or any sort of design that's video gaming related, I guess, because I know Sonic is not really Nintendo, and I know that shirt's not really Nintendo, but frankly, that's okay. This one's actually a Chrono Trigger shirt with the clock that's actually ticking, and that looks fantastic, but frankly, it is a little large on me, so I don't wear it all that often. 
And these last two shirts, I counted both of these as my number 20 shirt because the one on the left I wear, the one on the right usually my friend wears or my wife now wears. Whenever we're doing sort of like gaming competitions, sometimes we get into these shirts. What's really cool about them, you can actually see the way I'm talking. The ladder something is, because there's a little battery pack right here, so the ladder something is, these bars actually fill up and it looks a lot better when it's dark out and you can actually see them popping along to the music or to your voice or anything like that that's going on. So I did get two of those, the left one's turned on, the right one's not if you were just wondering. And then a few other items obviously to note, I do have three pairs of pajama pants because you might as well sleep in style as a Nintendo fan. Donkey Kong pants, and then Mario Kart Wii pants, and my personal favorites, because I do love the color green, Mario Riding Yoshi pajama pants. And the last two items in this collection of Nintendo-related items I usually wear are two belt buckles. I'm a massive fan of Paper Mario, it's one of my favorite games, and this is a Paper Mario belt buckle. And then there is a green mushroom belt buckle as well, kind of like a one-up. And these ones you can just interchange on any belt that you actually have that you can take off the buckle. Usually those are somewhere between $10 and $20 if you were wondering. Please comment below what is your favorite shirt from my entire collection or favorite item that I showed in this video. There are so many here. I'm actually baffled as how I actually collected this many gaming shirts. Like I said, a lot of them were gifts. But I think a lot of people know that I do love Nintendo, and I'm going to be wearing these from time to time in my own home while I'm gaming, but also occasionally in public, hopefully in the future when I'm a really cool parent at some point. Thank you so much for watching. If you know of any other shirts that I should probably pick up, feel free to leave a link in the description, or a link as a comment rather, and that way I can maybe purchase it and add it to this collection and start wearing it. Feel free to fill that like bucket, follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video, and remember, as always, go collect them all, and keep smiling while gaming.